You guys, why are you chanting to murder a baby? Why are you chanting to kill a baby? No uterus, no opinion! No uterus, no opinion! Yeah, but you're not even, you're not even pregnant right now. You're not even pregnant. It's a separate baby. If you were pregnant, it'd be a separate baby. You guys are chanting to kill babies and you're not even pregnant. Yeah, but you're not pregnant. So you're meditating on murder. Don't you see there's a problem with that? Yeah, you guys wouldn't want to kill a little baby, right? You wouldn't want to kill a little puppy. You're not even pregnant. You're not even pregnant and you're meditating on murder. It makes no sense. Think about it. You're not even pregnant. Don't worry. I don't think you will get pregnant meditating on murdering a baby you don't even have yet. Don't have sex. Don't have sex if you're planning on killing a baby. God made you intimately. God made you intimately. In the womb. God sent his son to die for you. That you wouldn't perish. But you're out here meditating on murder. You're trying to meditate on killing a baby. You're not pregnant. You're not even pregnant right now. Think about it. No, the Bible says I knew you intimately in the womb. You guys are full of demons. You got to turn from wickedness. You're already meditating on murder. You're already thinking about murder. None of you are pregnant. You don't want to kill babies. Don't want to kill babies. God sent his son to die for you. That you would turn to Jesus and live. He, he thinks you guys are all awesome enough that he sent his son to die for you. Not that you would meditate on murder. You're not pregnant right now. It makes no sense. A baby is, is, is more precious than this dog. And this dog is precious. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to kill this dog. Why would you want to kill a baby? Jeremiah 1.5 I knew you intimately in the womb. I fashioned your inward parts. I called you to be a prophet to the nations. Ezekiel 18, all souls belong to God. Okay, but you're not pregnant right now. So why would you meditate on murder? Well, God sent his son to die for you that you would turn to him and live. You guys, you guys look really wicked yelling to kill babies and you're not pregnant yet. Jesus died for you. He loves you. He died for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Little one, you're very important to God that he sent his son to die for you. You got to turn to Jesus. He died for you. You guys, no, you want to have a baby. A baby is precious in God's sight. You're scaring the dog. You got to turn to Jesus. You're not even pregnant. You're meditating on murdering a baby, and you're not even pregnant. You guys are loved. You guys are so loved that God sent his son to die for you. It's killing an unborn baby. No, it's it's a living it's it's a living baby. At five at five weeks, they have a heartbeat. They have a heartbeat. You guys are not pregnant, so you're meditating on murder already. God hates hands that shed innocent blood. What about a miscarriage? What about a miscarriage? But even if you've committed abortion, God still will forgive you. God will forgive you. You got to turn to Jesus. Jesus said, unless you be born again, 
you will not see the kingdom of God. Turn from wickedness. You guys, I care for you. I don't want you to keep getting more wicked. I care for you. I'm just telling you that you're not pregnant and you're already meditating on murder. God cares for you. He sent his son for you to die on a cross. That you would live holy for him. And that you would raise your children up in righteousness. Okay, turn to Jesus. He loves you. He died for you. And be born again in the spirit of God. Okay, so even if you don't believe, why are you meditating about killing a baby before it's born? You're not even pregnant. You're fighting to kill a baby right now. And California, California is going to continue to allow abortions. You guys are really angry, angry and unhappy. God wants to make you happy and give you the joy of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. He died for you. I pray, I pray you receive Jesus. His death, burial, and resurrection can save you by faith and be born again. We lo I love you. God loves you. It's okay if you don't love me. Jesus said to bless those who curse you. You're not even pregnant, so you're already premeditating murder. And you're already yelling about murdering a baby you're not even pregnant with. That's how senseless this is. You have to be you have to be warned that God will give you over to a reprobate mind where you stand out on the street and chant to kill a baby that you're not even pregnant with. That's how dark and wicked that sounds. I pray you turn. I pray you turn. Amen. Turn from wickedness and follow Jesus in spirit and truth. He said if your eye causes you to sin, poke it out. Better to enter life with one eye than go into hellfire. Jesus took your sin at the cross and resurrected on the third day that you would follow him and be a new creation. You're going to get more so angry, you're not going to have a good life just chanting to kill babies. You guys aren't pregnant, so why would you chant to, you know, about my body? And it's not your body. If it's a pregnant baby, it's a new, it's a new creature in Christ. It's a new baby with, with a heartbeat. Right? Right? See, you're sensible. Right? Sensible. Yeah, Jesus died for you. He loves you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise, huh? Why am I what? Because I'm trying to show how you guys aren't even pregnant. It's a public place where you guys, where they're chanting to kill babies. I don't have to. Did you? I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to preach, re, uh, video. Yeah. You guys, God sent His Son to die for you, and resurrected on the third day. Okay, but why would you chant to kill a baby? You're not pregnant right now. I'm chanting to kill a baby. I'm chanting to keep my life. If I was trying to give birth at the age that I was raped, I would be dead. But you are made in God's image. You are awesome. The way He created you. You are awesome. You are awesome. No, He allows evil. So that there will be a difference between evil and good. There's fallen angels and true angels. There's there's born again believers and there's people that worship Satan. Did you know that if you look at Psalm 106, 37, it says it's a child sacrifice to demons. To demons. So I'm just trying to tell you how demonic it is. And you guys aren't pregnant and you're meditating murder. No, you're just taking that's Old Testament. Uh, that's been ch that's in the New Testament, New Covenant. It's we live holy. No, no, it's not. The Sabbath is meant for rest, and and Jesus fulfilled all of the Old Testament. All the ordinances in Colossians two are nailed to the cross. So now we live holy as new creatures in Christ, loving each other. If you guys curse me, I bless you and just say God died, sent His Son to die for you. Yes, but it would be a separate body in your in your belly. It would be a separate bo body. Of course it's your choice. Of course. But what about the baby? Why doesn't the baby have a choice? No, 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 no. Even science says at five, six weeks there's a heartbeat. So if there's a heartbeat, there's a soul in it. There's a soul in it. So all souls belong to God in Ezekiel 18. I want your soul to go to heaven. Well, whether, whether you believe in God or not doesn't make him not, not a, a reality. God is a reality. So if you don't believe in the death penalty and you commit crimes that get you the death penalty, doesn't mean you're going to avoid it, right? 
So it doesn't matter what we believe. And then the, the world speaks that God created this in Romans 1. God created the heavens and the earth and all that are in it and everything that has breath, praise the Lord. I believe science complements the Bible until men uh, start to change science to fit their their uh, their philosophies, their vain philosophies. I'm just telling you, you guys aren't pregnant and you're already meditating murder. You're meditating murder. But I'm here to stand for the unborn. That if, if your parents were about to abort you, I'd be at Planned Parenthood saying, don't abort this little boy right here who's so handsome. This little boy right here. All you little girls, you're so awesome. Made in God's image. Made in God's image. And you're, you're created to praise the Lord and follow Jesus. I love you. God sent his son to die for you. I pray you receive it. When you guys, you know, continue to get angry, it's going to bring more frustrations in life and hurting. If any of you guys are suicidal or anything like that, I love you, and Jesus can deliver you from that. Okay? Any drugs, any drugs, God can deliver you. Okay? No, it's the Bible. It's Jesus. No, you guys, a lot of you guys take drugs. No, they don't. We have, we have so many overdoses and so many people take antidepressants. Well, you know why? It's because you're screaming to kill an unborn baby before there's even a baby in your womb. Yes. See how sweet she is? You wouldn't want to kill this puppy. You guys are much better than puppies. You guys are much better than puppies. So just think about it. You're meditating on killing babies before you're even pregnant. Okay? It's going to lead you down a darker path. A darker path. But Jesus came to give you light. He came to give you light. I'm trying to tell you that you're, you're, you're teaching the kids wickedly. You are teaching them. See? You are wicked. You're older and you should train these kids up right. You are wicked. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But these kids are innocent. These kids are innocent. But you're wicked. You should be teaching them good things. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.